Hi, this is Marianne Schultz for App Shopper, and this is a look at Clear for Mac. This is a new productivity app that just hit the App Store yesterday. It's a tasks or rather lists app. Uh, I'm going to jump right here to the tips and tricks menu to show you the tutorial. This is actually what you see when you first open the app. Of course, I've already been using the app for a little while now, so um, I've done this already, but just to show you that it's here in case you want to reference it and to give you a sneak peek of what you'll see again as you first open the app. Um, also looking more in this menu, um, there's some handy tips that you can always reference uh, when you need to, to remember or refresh your memory on the um, navigation elements to use the app. Uh, jumping to a sample list here to show you how um, you create new items and whatnot, you can just start typing anywhere if you want to create a new item. Um, and you can drag and drop to rearrange items in your lists. You can also scroll um, up to, uh, or scroll down rather, to create new items as well. That's another navigation or um, element for you to use. And uh, you can swipe to delete or uh, mark items is done as well. So swiping um, there to the, uh, to the right uh, shows that delete mode. And swiping in the other direction shows you the clear mode. Oh, I'm sorry, the... Um, Mark items is done mode. And then I'm just going back here to the main lists view. Uh, same navigation elements here. I can uh, pull down to create a new list and I'm going to add some items to this new list. Here's a handy quote. There, um, these are shown when you have a blank, uh, a blank list screen and you just get a new quote every time you, um, you get to one of these screens. I'm going to add one more item here and then I'm going to delete this last item and then mark these two items is done and clear this list and go back to the main lists view up oh, there's another quote again and delete this list now going back to the main menu here you can see that uh, clear also offers themes just like the iphone version and um, some of these are bonus themes that were unlocked on the info version that I also have for having other apps installed. And let's see, there's Tweetbot. Letterpress is a new one. Um, I'll enable that one so you can see a little bit about what it looks like. And then also going to the preferences here, this is where you choose or enable your iCloud syncing, turn uh, sound effects off, on and off, etc. Now there's actually just one other thing I wanted to show you guys here, and this is the fact that you can pull out lists. Um, you can have more than one list open at a time. You can drag and drop them uh, to create new windows, which is really handy if you want to work on more than one list at a time. But uh, that's pretty much it for Clear for Mac. It just hit the App Store, the Mac App Store yesterday. It's available for a special introductory price of $6.99. It goes up on Monday to $14.99. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and check our blog for more information.